Hi, Katie. It's Rob. I want you to do me a project, do a project for me. Recently, I was looking at my Google Analytics, and I noticed that my top 30 pages out of the top 50, 30 pages out of my top 50 pages were blog articles. And, and I also noticed that I am not capitalizing money, uh, revenue from these pages. So I recently did an experiment on this article called Sun Tea Don't Do It, and I added what's called a buy button to the blog article, and it generated, lo and behold, $34.99, which means I sold a nice tea jug off of it. So I'd like to continue to do this with my other blog articles, and um, this is the project that I'm asking you to do. So I just want to show you what the article, the blog article looks like. As you can see, Britt wrote this last summer for us. It's about iced tea, not putting it in the sun. And it's very, it's a great performing article. I think it's the first uh, uh, in Google search right now. And there's an, there's an embedded link here to purchase the iced tea pitcher. But, you know, many people don't see that small link and they disregard it and they go away from the page. But by adding the buy button, which is this down here, people are able to purchase this right on the page, making one less step for them to purchase this iced tea button. And also to make it relevant to them, I also added this extra line of text here to explain what this is. So the project is for you to do this line and put the HTML code in the blog article so that the buy button appears on it. And to do this, you go to your admin panel and you hit the buy button under sales channels. If it doesn't appear, you can always push this view all channels. And then you push the select product button right here, right at the top. And that will generate a pop-up window. And go ahead and type in what you're looking for, which is in this case for this blog article, we're going to put the 50 ounce glass iced tea pitcher. And it will um, then you should be able to find it. You select it, select the product, and the next page that will appear will be your buy button. Your buy button, there's three different templates on this. You don't need to do anything here because it's all pre-selected. Um, go ahead and then hit the generate code button, which will then generate this embed code. This is HTML, so you simply push this button, copy it, and then go to the blog article and paste it in. So here's the blog article, and as you can see, um, it's it looks like this, and don't forget the HTML button is all the way right there. But before we go ahead and put the uh, article, the embed button code in there, I'm going to go ahead and put this extra line in here that says, purchase the safer iced tea pitcher. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in, purchase, purchase the safer, oops, safer iced tea pitcher. And then I'm going to highlight this just to give it some relevance to what the item that we're selling. And I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to attach a heading H3. Now this will will take that and make it like look like this. Now then we're going to push the HTML and we're going to go right to the bottom of the article which is here and we're simply going to hit the shift key and we're going to go control P for my computer, I think it's Command P for an Apple. Push that. Oops. Hit the wrong button there. Um, I need to hit Control V. Sorry, not Control P. And I'm going to hit the Save button. Once I do that, um, then the article will look like this again. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and do that for me. I will send you a list of the blog articles that are not producing any revenue that we can um, um, 
look to improve our revenues on. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you to use your discretion as to which products we should put buy buttons for on those blog articles. If you have any questions on what products you might pitch on the blog articles, uh, by all means, let me know and I'll help you decide on that. Thanks, Katie. I appreciate your help in doing this. And let's see if we can raise our revenues on these blog articles. Thank you. Bye now.